Hey everyone, my name is Jer, I'm a photographer, videographer and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I want to talk a little bit about pushing yourself outside of your comfort zones. Firstly, what is your comfort zone? Well, your comfort zone is a behavioural space where your activities and your behaviours follow a routine and pattern that minimises stress and risk. Nail it. Anyways, what has this got to do with today's video? Well, the answer is everything. And it's got a lot to do with all of my future videos too. See, I want to use these videos, this channel in general, to push myself out of my comfort zone. And I know that I can achieve extraordinary stuff if I do just that. For example, 18 months ago I started a business. Within five months I brought that business from my hometown in Castle Bar to Dublin, to Zurich, to Berlin, to Stockholm, to New York City. We're working with some of Ireland's biggest brands and some international powerhouses. But that was purely by putting ourselves in difficult and uncomfortable situations and doing things we wouldn't normally do. This weekend, I stood into a boxing gym and I've got zero boxing experience. Last week I contacted one of Ireland's best boxers. He's a, he's a professional with a record of 11 wins and one loss. He's got countless titles. He's won amateur, Irish, European, world titles. Um, he just came off an incredible fight in Castlebar, I think last December, one of the best boxing matches in, in Irish boxing memory, in recent memory. But uh, I contacted him and I asked him would he put me through my paces and maybe get in there for a bit of a spar. So his name is Ray Moylet. Yesterday, I went to Westport and met Ray, and here is what happened. Right, I have just arrived at St. Anne's Boxing Club in Westport. Um, I was just in there a second ago with the lads, and they're ready to put me through my paces. This is the man himself, Ray What's Moylet. Up, boy? So Ray, what are we going to do today? What are you actually going to do? Today with is going to be Beasting session first of all. Get okay. You, get you wrapped up, padded up, um, teach you your boxing skills. Main thing is keep your hands up. Okay. I want to teach you once. Okay. So you have to take it on. <laughs> okay. Um, we'll go through a few drills out here. Things that I would do training on a day to day. Okay. And uh, and we'll see how we've improved and we'll jump into the ring maybe for a light spar. Light spar. A light spar. So the thing is a light spar. <laughs> okay. So I am giving you full permission. Okay. Full permission to make me cry, make me sweat. Make me bleed I've, if you want. I've heard of this before. Have you a safe word? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. We'll, we'll have a safe word. Okay, we'll have a safe I think word. we need a safe word. Right. Okay. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so the whole purpose of this video is to put me out of my comfort zone. Uh, I want to try stuff that I have never done before, yes. so I want you to put me out of my comfort zone. Okay, number one, we'll get you out of your comfort zone. Yeah. Um, this is going to be alien to you. This is okay. going to see what your body's made of. I want to see what you're made of. Okay. <laughs> this, this little tight Leo chart, I want to see what that's made out of. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Um, this is going to be fun, so let's get set up and go for it. Hit the music. Alive, anyways, that's, that's a good thing. Okay, so we're gonna do a little circuit. Okay, we're gonna do the bag, we're gonna do sprints on the bags, okay. spray shot, and power. We'll do pad work. I'm gonna hop over here. Three, four. <laughs> you want to get out of your comfort zone? Yeah, yeah come on, let's do it. Okay, let's I'll do it. We're still in your evening to your break now. You have 40 seconds, that's one round done, two to go. Let's go, get a drink of water, have your water with you. No. Good, you bring it this way. I fing hate Ray. <laughs> Around. 
How are you feeling about that, Joe? I forgot my water. That was way tougher than I imagined. Even though I was pretty rubbish, I pushed myself. I tried to, but uh, yeah, my cardio was bad. How do you think you're gonna get on in the ring? I think I'm gonna get my ass whooped in the ring. Um, can't defend, can't throw, my power's gone. The power that I had is gone, and yeah, we'll see how it goes. Just gotta put on a brave face. I can see him over in the corner of my eye. Ooh, it's getting real now. Ooh. I'm gonna put him through his face with him now. See, see what he's like in the ring. I got him pretty tired before I put him in, so. Should be easy pick. last long? No. Should be easy pickings now, because his arms are tired and his lungs are tired. I'm going to bring him in and give him a... Let him go, I can let him start strong and pretend to give him a bit of confidence. And then I'm going to take him out. Good spell though, loads of power for a small fella. He actually looks like a boxer now. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was too good looking. He actually looks like a boxer now. Oh, okay, so I just want to say a big thanks to Ray for um, for coming training me today. Um, let me spar him. I enjoyed it loads. I'm absolutely f***ed, but uh, that was great fun. Cheers, man. No, that was appreciated. Then. I loved that. That was great. Was, I love putting you through your paces. And like, from the first round, the improvement you made going into that last round. Like that's, you have seen something deep in here, you know, and that's Who knows? searching for and putting yourself to the limit. That's what it's all about. You don't know until you do it. Yeah. And then getting into the ring there, sparring a professional. I didn't hold back. I threw plenty of leather there. You hit me with a couple and of there you go. And you know what? I bet you're all the better for it now. You know, that's, you feel alive again. Oh yeah, that's oh yeah. About. Cheers, Ray. Well, oh yeah. <laughs> That was damn fun. I'm gonna have a sore nose tomorrow, but... <sighs> In the first day, you, you learn how to hold your hands up, you learn how to defend yourself. Then over the next couple of weeks, you learn how to throw your combinations and throw your punches. And then you learn how to move your feet and how to get out of range and get in, into range. Um, what we did there today was a fast track of like three months training and three months work to get into the ring after sparring. Yeah. So, and not only did you do all that in, in, in a couple of minutes, but you pushed yourself on the circuit on the floor and then you got into the ring sparring and I was fresh as the days you got in you know and I I tried to put the pressure on you but you were well able you, you stood up to it all yeah so like that's to be able to react to that and to defend yourself and to still throw punches back you know that's 
that's the heart of a heart of warrior right there, you know. So don't yeah. don't be disheartened with a bl bloody nose. I'm not. I'm you're, not. Look at I started a pro boxer you're, you're, man. You're, you're three months ahead of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't have that bloody nose for another three months. So oh, well God. done. Yeah. yeah. Cheers. Right, Appreciate it. No um. Okay. So. I'm back at home. I completely forgot to film the rest of this vlog at the beach because the sunset was spectacular and me but me, I got distracted. So now I'm back home and we'll finish it here. Reverting back to our earlier point of pushing your comfort zones. I know all too well how hard it is to push your comfort zone, but I also know how easy it is to regress back into your safety net. And when you do, you lose all momentum. But when you push, you gain so much more momentum and newfound confidence. I believe pushing your comfort zone is how you achieve growth and success, whether that's in your life, in your mind, or in your work. And that's fully what I intend to do with this YouTube channel. I intend to achieve personal growth and success. Please like and subscribe, hit the bell if you wish, it genuinely does make a difference. Also, if you have any ideas of what I could do for future challenges to push myself out of my comfort zone, leave them in the comments below. There is literally nothing, I mean nothing, out of bounds. In the meantime, I'm going for a well-deserved rest. See you next time.